Yep, we've got our first man in the Tin Top Challenge coming down to the line. Uh, car 52 is, in fact, Roger Moran. Mm. So let's uh, see what he does up here with us. Four-wheel drive, R5, basically rally car. This car, X-Works, started life as an ice racing machine, I mm. think. Yes, yeah, it was. It was ice racing uh, originally. It's built by Skoda Motorsport. 2.34 off the start line. And as you'd expect, rapid progress across the parkland, through the gate and into the S's on 19.36. Yeah, Build there, set it in tight, and bring it right. Getting the power down. A little puff of smoke out of the exhaust, and uh, away up Castle Straight. Um, he was using all the road on the way into the saw bench as well. And 39.92 at the top of the hill for Roger Moran. Robbie Burrell then with the Porsche. Car number 22, second to take his run in the AET Turbos Tin Top Challenge. Off the line in 2.73 seconds. Beryl from Bury with his Cayman GTS, two and a half litre turbo engine, out of the S's in 221.61. Again, using the edge of the curb as he comes in, turn it into Sorbetch and uh, just leaving us nice and smooth straight up the middle of the, of the track up to Martini Hairpin. Safely round there, I think, but the clock 44.51, 44.51, so he slots into second place. Moran, as Simon Bainbridge is on the start line with the massive twin turbo Audi engine chrono and away in 2.48 seconds. Looking good at the gate. Quickly through to the S's in 19.59. He's with us now and, and no doubt. Oh, he's, he's kept it very much centre of the track. Didn't go up onto the edges and uh, around saw bench getting that power down. What a beast. That a lovely sound of that V8 as he goes away from us here. And on the brakes into Martini. Twin turbo over the line in 41.16, 41.16 with next to run, Jonathan Williamson blasts the career away off the line in 2.24 seconds. So in fact, that's the fastest launch so far. Faster than the Skoda. Faster than the Skoda, a tenth of a second faster than Roger Moran hey. off the line. So Williamson really got the bit between his teeth, judged the start immaculately through the S's in 20.80, so dropping time now. Yeah, nice tidy lines, smooth, little bit of tyre squeal, straight up the middle of the uh, saw bench, straight up the middle of Castle Straight, and no doubt he'll go over to the right-hand side before he turns left over to Martini in the finish. Well, Jonathan knows the hill here at Wiscombe very well, and that pays back for the time of 43.25. So that's the third fastest at the moment. Roger Moran at the top with a 39.92. But another local man and a hard trier to boot. Yan Yo with oh. the legend. The legend Yamaha. in a legend, isn't yeah, it? A legend in a oh, yes. Coined a phrase there. Yeah. The Yamaha powered machine working well off the line in 2.65 seconds. Very light, very manageable and you'll very see nimble, very him nimble. drifting it right yeah. through. Oh, he's really using the edges of the road here. He's putting everything into this. And hear that tire squeal as he's getting the power down. Felt like he missed a gear then. There's a little pop of uh, flame out the exhaust at the same time. So I think he may have just lost a, 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 a fraction of the time there. Third fast is through the S's and closes down at the finish line in 42.23. 42.23 puts him into third place behind Messrs Moran Bain, and Bainbridge. 
Now, another Porsche man out on the track, car 40, Paul Howells, who you were talking to earlier in the mm. afternoon. Paul launched in 2.27. So he's only three hundredths of a second slower than Williamson. So, as you'd expect, the Porsche's quick off the line, 20.73. Yeah, nice tidy line, not going too edge, near the edge. A little bit of opposite luck as he goes out of saw bench on the power and then he's on the brakes now to go around Martini and cross the finish and let's see what he's done. 42.38. So he's a little shy of Jan Yo there. I know Jan was keen to get into the, the top 10 tin top. It's hard to say, isn't it? Top 10 tin top uh, runoffs today. So he'd be well pleased just to have got in there. Yeah, after some Tarka 4, you'd even have more problems. With oh, that, I think. Tarka 4 as well. So Roger Moran still the fastest as Stephen Daly attacks the hill with a launch of 2.37 seconds with the Subaru Legacy well-developed car, which leads the tin top challenge at the moment in the hands of Damian Bradley. But... Yeah. Uh, I'm looking to see if he can make ground up today. 19.51 yeah. in the S's. Really, as he came through the S's there, he was right over tight to the side, knocking the uh, marker posts. But uh, none of them came out the ground, thankfully. And uh, he's around Martini. Iron and Price waiting on the start line. 40.92 for Darley. Car number 43. He was so that's second fastest at the moment behind mm. Roger Moran. Yeah. So he's exactly a second in arrears of the Ludlow Motorhome retailer. Yeah, and Stephen was having problems with it down there earlier. So, he? He, yeah, right. so I'm not sure it's giving him full power at the moment. Green light for ex rally man Einan Price. So he has the ability of, of bringing his experience <laughs> from both rallying and hill climbing, having campaigned single seaters in the British Hill Climb Championship. Off the line in 2.33 seconds. So not the fastest, but uh, a, a good, yeah. good departure. Einan's going to be spectacular. I believe he's using the handbrake to get himself around the solar bench. And he's in. Yeah, handbrake. Lots of drift. Fantastic way around there. Beautiful. Hopefully people have got that on camera. He, uh, he chucked it in and handbrake it, brought it back around and was straight as a die then out saw bench up to Mar towards Martini. Looking to Martini and out in a time of 40.06. He is giving away about 100 break to uh, Roger Moranzo. So indeed, uh, but that puts him second to Roger. So it's the Skoda's. 1-2 at mm. the moment as Stephen Moore makes his bid with the Mitsubishi off the line, the same pri time as Price, 2.33 seconds. I can hear it popping and going as it's coming through. It's coming up through, yes, yeah. is in 19.57. Another one who's keeping to the middle of the track, not using the curbs, keeping the car settled by doing that, not bouncing it over the curb edges. Big puffs of black fuel smoke coming out, a lovely Not big flame outside exhaust then as he uh, backed big off to, to towards Martini. 40.57, 40.57. So we've got three times in the 42nd bracket, trailing Roger Moran. Roger leading the way on 39.92. Then Einan Price, 40.06. Stephen Moore, 40.57, 40.92 for Darley. Now, the man who qualified fastest, the only man to qualify with a sub 40 second time. The man who carries number two on the side of his car, second in the British Hill Climb Championship last year, and away, Scott Moran in 2.15 seconds. That is the fastest launch. And you can carry that momentum across the parkland into the S's. Got the braking neat and tidy through the gate, and the S's show him at 18.87. Oh, he's on a charge, definitely on a charge. Again, keeping it on the track, not using the edges. It looks like he's got the new tyres on as well. So, Scotty really going for it here. He's uh, obviously planning to oust his father from that number one place as he turns into Martini. The only 18 second climb through the S's, and it translates to a 39. 
0.30. So he beats his father by just over six tenths of a second. So it's Skoda's one, two, three with a Mitsubishi of Seaver Moore in fourth place. Stephen Darley with the Legacy in fifth. Then sixth, Simon Bainbridge on 41.16. And then Yanyo, 42.23 in seventh. Paul Howell, 42.38 in eighth. Ninth, John Williamson on 43.25. And 10th, Robbie Birrell with a 44.51.